Hey, Scott Bavel, professional triathlete from South Africa. Today, I'm gonna to be going through five quick fire questions with all of you. So, here we go. For fueling on race day, my go-to breakfast is usually two to three slices of sourdough bread with peanut butter and butter and maybe a little bit of banana chopped on top. That's pretty much my go-to breakfast. <laughs> Missing the last uh, garage or service station or coffee restaurant or whatever it is and not filling up on fuel, water or hydration, especially when it is hot. And that obviously resulted in me having a little bit of a bonk. Um, so, I definitely needed to stop at that last little restaurant or coffee shop or whatever it was to fuel up, but I thought I was brave and I could make it home. Little did I know, I didn't. And that goes to say, I won't make that same mistake again. The more Zwift races you do, the better understanding you get of the game and the better you will get at racing on Zwift. That's my top tip for getting better on Zwift. The best advice that I can give for trying to acclimatize to heat, and if you aren't in hot uh, climates, then sauna would be the best, the next best thing. Now, it's important not to do that too much or too often, especially closer to a race, but doing it periodically, a couple of weeks out will really help you start to induce that kind of um, hotter climate feeling within your body. If you don't have a sauna, you could always do the hot baths. Uh, I've never really been a fan of training in lots of clothing on the indoor trainer. Um, but yeah, a sauna would be my next best thing to try and simulate hotter conditions. And on that note, sauna after the session, not before your training sessions. I would say it has to be eating a really good meal, carbs, proteins, fats, and then obviously you can't forget the fourth pillar, which is hydration, precision hydration.